Importing sounds is simple. Drag them into Flash from your file explorer. You can drag it either onto the main timeline or the library. That's it. Or, if you want to be a caveman, you can do the same thing by going to File at the top and clicking on Import. You could just make a blank keyframe, click it, and drag a sound there. Just to recap something from Chapter 1 for a second. When you're going to import a sound into Flash and export it for the first time, you're going to notice something. It sounds like garbage. To fix this, go to Publish Settings and a menu should appear. There are two settings, Audio Stream and Audio Event. Click on all the text beside either one of them that says MP3 16 KBPS Mono. Change it to MP3 160 KBPS Stereo and make the quality be best. Animate CC 2020 onwards have this set by default. We can't really tell you why it took them that long to do it, but there you go. Don't keep your sound set to event. Click on a sound in a frame on your timeline and go to the properties panel. Event is the default for any sound you put in. Change it to stream and repeat. If you want to find out why you shouldn't use event, here's what happens when you use stream. Also, you can hold Alt and click on a sound in your library to preview a sound. Another quick tip is that you can hold Alt on a keyframe with a sound and drag it to duplicate it without having to re-import the sound over and over again. This also works for sprites. Pretty neat. So let's say you drag in a music clip and you have a bunch of empty space before the music plays or you want to cut pieces of a track together. Well, you can actually split the audio. You just right-click the frame and click Split Audio. Like with custom easing, you can also edit audio by clicking the pencil and you have both left and right channels for audio. If it's at the bottom, that's no audio, and at the top is full audio. So for example, here's a fade-in for audio, see? You can get rid of points by dragging them sort of like with gradient colors. You can also do some crazy stuff like 3D audio, but honestly, you're better off using Audacity when it comes to sound editing. Link for that is in the description below. By the way, for sound pack FLAs, just copy and paste the sound from one library into another, or just open the library like this and drag it in. Another thing is that if your sounds don't import correctly, we included a link to Leo V's SND for Flash. You just drag a sound, set it to .wav, and import. 